Hello everybody, welcome back to the Blessed Performance YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about driven diesel regulator returns. Um, we wanted to bring this to your guys' attention because we've been getting a lot of questions lately and it's a video we haven't done yet. The one we have out is our most popular seller. Okay? It's the driven diesel regular return kit with a fuel bolt delete for a 6.0 power stroke. We also have <clears throat> these kits available in a standard which does not have a fuel bolt delete. Some guys don't want fuel bolt delete, you don't have to remove it, but it does clean up the engine bay quite a bit to remove it. And then we also have the 99-03-73. And then I think back here we have the 90-40-97-73 OBS with fuel bolt delete kits as well. You can also order these with the Driven Diesel fuel pump kit to come with them for these kits right here. And then right on top here we have the fast install kit for a 6.0 power stroke. This makes your job a lot easier if you do the fuel bolt delete kit. Okay, so first and foremost, in the box, I'm not going to cut this open uh, because it is security sealed. But this talks about we have the regulator in here, the block that holds it all together. You know what? Screw it. I'll use it at some point here. So let's open it up, okay? So I can show you guys what it is. It does come all security sealed. If you buy this um, with a fast install, the security seal will be cut from us because we're going to put this inside the box with it. But in this kit, we have the block for the fuel bowl delete. It's nice, pretty. A nice anodized black with a laser engraved logo for driven diesel in there. You've got the driven diesel regulator in here. And then you've also got the fittings that you need, necessary fittings to mount it. And it even comes with an Allen wrench. Nobody else does that. A lot of people purchase these things quite often and, and ask where they, how they're gonna get the directions. If it comes with directions in the box, well, it does. But driven diesel have upgraded and improved, so that way if they needed to make modifications to the directions, they could do it really quick and easy and everybody would have access to it. So you, so you take your, your smartphone, in today's world we all have smartphones, put your picture to this QR code right here, takes you straight to the website with complete install directions and with pictures and a whole bunch of tech tips on this. Needless to say, in this box you're going to have everything you need to install a regular return and a fuel mode delete kit for your truck. I guess the best way I can put it is the hard lines generally go to the head and come up and they all meet and then the soft lines will go from there to the distribution block in the box. That's just a quick rule of thumb, best way to explain it. And it makes helps kind of break down how this process works. The little vacuum hose here goes on the bottom of your regulator. And the rest of it is honestly quite straightforward if you've done it. But if you haven't, those directions are, the guys over at Driven Diesel, they do an amazing job of making sure that they have the best directions on the market for this, for their installation. So what's this guy? People ask, do I need this? I'm gonna be real, you don't. The thing is though, if you value time, I recommend purchasing this. I value time, time is very short for me, okay? So, what's in the kit? You've got some adapters that you need to, to adapt your FAST or your air dog directly to the Driven Diesel Fuel Bowl Delete Kit. There's some fittings in here and a hose. Yes, you can go to your FAST and all your NAPA, your auto parts store, some auto parts store carries find go to like five different stores to find all the fittings you need and the hose that you need. Now for 90 bucks, I think it is added on to the cost of it. You can maybe get all these parts for about 60 bucks in town. When you boil it all down and you spend two to three hours chasing parts for 30 bucks. I know that to myself, 30 bucks, my time is worth way more than that per hour, just like I think yours is. So that's why I recommend to go with this kit. Another question folks ask, I've got an O-Dog S2R ported intake. Will this work? 100% does. They made a few modifications to the lines here to extend them. Now, before they ever made the modifications in the V2 version, I installed a V2 version a couple of times with an O-Dog ported intake. Worked flawlessly. Just had to adjust the line, one or two lines. It was nothing crazy. But now these are adjusted perfectly to work with the O-Dog S2R ported intake, which every 6.0 needs. Watch the video on that. With that being said, that's kind of the rule. The, the general rule of thumb with these kits is that you come pre-assembled with everything you need to install and we have them available for your 7.3s and your 6.0s. It's truly a quality kit. Fits absolutely stellar every single time. The guys over at Driven Diesel, we've had one or two little stupid things where a fitting wasn't there or something. Always, always over a apart. When it comes to customer service, I don't know if Driven Diesel can be beaten by anybody other than Blessed Performance. So, <laughs> I'm just playing guys. Driven Diesel is great. Wonderful people over there. Give us a call with any questions on this. 1-800-577-2698 for which kit you're going to need for your truck. We'd be glad to chat. Okay, so now, let's chat a little bit about whether you need a regular return. There's a lot of bull 
on the internet. I'm gonna break it all down to you. Do you need one? The honest answer is no. Will you benefit from having one? Yes. From stock to wild, you can benefit because on all the power strokes, every one of them from the factory, for some reason, International and Ford decided to not have a way for fuel to flow and balance out between the heads. So what ends up happening is when you're wide open throttle on all the power strokes, you have a cylinder or two that doesn't have as much fuel as the other six or seven. It changes based on year. That being said, the, the reason for the rate of return is to balance the heads with one pressure between all of them and remove any air pockets. So that's where you gain. What that's gonna help with is gonna help with longevity and injectors. That's the number one reason that you want a regular return. Power is not a factor here in my mind. Okay, yes, you're gonna, when you go up in power and you need more fuel, you have to do one. There's just no question about it. But when it boils down to, for the guys that are sub, say for a 60, sub 600 horsepower. Really, you can make 600 horsepower with a regular return. It was done many, many years ago, long before these were ever developed. That being said, those guys dropped injectors out more often and it was because of drops in fuel pressure. It wasn't because of an injector flaw or installation error or anything like that. Drops in fuel pressure will kill an injector like that. Without the lubricity, without the cooling factor of the fuel, you're gonna overwork the injector and you're gonna cause some problems internally. That's why you need a regular return. It's not because the internet says it. It's not because it's a must, it's because it's gonna help with longevity. If you want to, if say you're, you're investing in a high quality set of holders premiums, or full force diesel premiums, or Alliant Pure Power injectors, any kind of premium injector that comes with a warranty, plus it's it's expensive. Let's, let's be real here. $2,500 for a set of injectors is not cheap. That's some that's some heavy money. It's, it's a diesel pickup. It's kind of the, the name of the game. They're expensive trucks to own, and especially if you want to do some upgrades. But if you're going to invest $2,500 into a set of injectors, why wouldn't you invest 700 bucks to protect it, $800 with, with the fast install kit. Why not? I can tell you this, that most injector companies, if for some reason you send an injector in to be warrantied and they see that it's because of lack of fuel pressure, they will not warranty that injector. That is not a warranty problem. That's not the injector's fault that it failed. So that's the other advantage to purchasing one. By purchasing one, with or within close range, you know, vicinity of when you purchased your, your injectors, either before or at the same time or right after, you're now backing your warranty with your injector company to ensure that you're going to have that three-year, 100,000-mile warranty that you paid for. The internet says a lot of things. I, I read them all, I see them all, and I just wanted to make a video to talk to you guys about it. You're purchasing this because you care about the longevity of your truck, and that's really what it boils down to in my mind. Just for reference, we have this truck right over here in America. You guys have seen the videos on it. We're running Holders Premium 225 75s, don't tell them that we're doing this without a regular return. Oh my gosh. Here's a great, great thing about that truck. It straight up shits and gets all the way to about 90 miles an hour and then starts to run out of fuel. It's pretty healthy. That proves the point that you can run like 190 30s without one. But I know that in the long run I'm gonna hurt the injectors. It wasn't ever the, the, it wasn't in my great grand scheme to go racing without a without a regular return. We're gonna put a regular return on it because we know that we want to make more. We want to make more power, and we also want the longevity of the truck to, to be reliable. The internet says you must have it. I'm telling you why you need it, not that it's a must. I'm telling you the reasons behind the, the regular return concept. And then why to run a driven diesel one, man? I mean, it just fits absolutely stellar. Only kit available on the market with a, with a fuel bolt leak kit. It cleans up the engine bay dramatically. I love how clean they look without a fuel bolt in the way. Just makes it look so much cleaner underneath there. Um, it's very easy to remove. I personally never once have used a 6.4 oil filter housing. You can certainly get one. We offer them. Um, you can also just take and cut it off and then grind it smooth. It works just as, just as well on the, on the oil filter housing. And then reinstall the, the stock one. Give us a call. Um, we would love to chat with you to see what your build is and see why you need one or don't need one. 1-800-577-2698. Be sure to click like, subscribe, follow. We are producing lots of videos. We got lots of game plans coming out here. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn. I think we got them all. Yeah, look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you again for all the wonderful support you guys provide for us. We couldn't do this without you, so we greatly appreciate it. Have a blessed day.